All right, y'all, so I'm gonna do a quick little pop-up message. So I'm out, I'm gonna go to the beach and cleanse my energy, which is something that I feel you guys should do as well, okay? If you can't go to the beach, go outside, be out in nature. All right, we have something here happening in a couple of months. Look, we have a couple of months and we have one to three months. So there's something going on here. Uh, bottom of the deck, if you are worried about something, Spirit is telling you don't worry because something's going to happen within a couple of months. And here's your confirmation. All right, so let's see what else. What else, Spirit? Stop breaking your own heart by choosing others over yourself. Okay. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You probably didn't want one or you are one. <clears throat> Spirit is telling you to re isolate, to recharge. What I was just saying right now, like recharge, go to the beach, go be out in nature and stuff like that or go to the park or something. But anyways, uh, low vibrational friends, family is holding you back. Let go and let God. So Spirit is telling you that you need to stop breaking your heart by choosing these people over you and love yourself. They're telling you here that you need to let go of this Aries, Leo or Sagittarius person because they're trying to hold you back intentionally or not. I feel like they're low vibrational. Trust that feeling. I feel like you're picking up on that. You're getting confirmation of this right now through this reading. Uh, if you're worried about your health, we have here that your health is A1. Somebody's keeping tabs on you. Look at that. Somebody's keeping tabs on you and spying through tarot. So I feel like they're keeping an eye on you um, through tarot to see, you know, like what's going on. Like uh, maybe like your, your abundance or stuff like that. Like... Yeah, you are very creative. So I feel like, you know, maybe you have like um, your own business or something and, you know, maybe you have a lot of creative ideas and stuff like that or something, a creative project or something's going to be popping off for you in a couple of months. And I feel like uh, these people are probably keeping tabs on you, getting readings and shit, seeing what's going on, seeing, you know, knowing that you're going to get this abundance and all this shit before you even know. So Spirit is telling you, like, basically, I feel like they're trying to plot on you or some shit. We have here, you are getting distracted, so focus, Okay. Bottom, bottom, bottom of the deck, we have gang stalking. So you got a bunch of people looking, you know, again, looking at you, you know, clocking you, watching your pockets. I don't know. They're getting readings, though. Spirit is telling you to move in silence because they're watching you. <sighs> we have here a lawsuit is going in your favor. I don't know if this has anything to do with a lawsuit, but um, if it's not, it's just basically balance coming back into your life. If right now you're feeling like things are not balanced, Spirit is saying, yo, these cards is all over the place today. Spirit is saying that you have balance coming back into your life, okay? The one that flew out says take a nap. So um, maybe you've been overworking yourself. Maybe you're stressed right now. You're overthinking too much. Spirit is telling you to take a break. Bottom of the deck is not going to stay like this forever, all right? So whatever you're going through, again, worry is a waste of emotion. Stop worrying. You're going to be straight. Okay, the only closure that you need is knowing that you deserve better. So I feel like for sure Spirit is telling you to release this Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. We have here psychic healer or intuitive. I feel like if you're not a psychic or a healer, you are very intuitive. I feel like your intuition is telling you to release this person that you don't need no closure. You just need to let it go. This person's moving funny. They, they, they're getting readings done on you. They know everything that you're doing, which is why Spirit is telling you to move in silence. I feel like they're plotting. I'm getting like a lot of manipulative energy. Yeah, so your intuition is telling you that, that you know, that this is going on. The, red, the universe is ready to deliver you your blessings. Your intuition is probably telling, telling you that too. Again, we have psychic. I feel like you are very intuitive. You're picking up on this. You know that you got something coming in. You know that you've been putting the work in for something and now it's finally going to come into fruition. But you're not the only one that knows. Somebody else knows too. And I feel like it's this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person. They know too and I feel like they're planting on your finances, okay? They're planting on your abundance. Spirit is telling you to listen to your intuition and move in silence. <clears throat> All right, let's see what else. Look at that. Let go of people that are committed to misunderstanding you for your own mental health. What I was saying, like, I feel like you are overthinking too much. All right, Spirit, what's going on? What do they need to receive? All right, so we have here with the Ace of Swords a lot of mis mis uh, misinformation, confusion, lack of communication. We have here arguments, insults, intellectual inability, wrong decisions, frustration. Maybe you, you know, you feel like you made the wrong decisions with this Aries, Leo, or the Terrius person. Uh, we also have here a lot of confusion, you know, like, I don't know, maybe they're trying to, um, yeah, look at that. Misfortune, financial disaster, fighting over money. 
family feuds, burdens, neglect, domestic disputes. You're like, yo, we have a lot of shit going on here, even divorce. But I feel like, again, I feel like they, they trying to confuse you or they don't want you to see things clearly. Um, you know, and what the, what they don't want you to see is that, you know, that they get readings on, on you and they over here, you know, plying on your finances, financial disaster. Like, I feel like, yeah, somebody from your past or somebody who's very childish with the six of cups. I feel like this person could be, um, like trying to like fuck with your finances. I don't know why I keep picking up on that. We have here the wheel of fortune in the reverse, bad luck interruption outside influences external forces disruption setbacks and delays yeah absolutely like i feel a bad energy from this aries leo or sagittarius energy like i feel like they planting on your finances they planting on your good luck on your abundance wow yep financial stress instability That's what's going on with those people. <clears throat> Show me the money. Show me the money. <laughs> what's going on, Spirit? What's going on with the finances? So, yeah, for sure, these people are wishing on your downfall, bro. Like, people want to see you good, but they don't want to see you do better than them. And they don't want to see you doing it without them either. So, if you are, because we have divorce here. If you're, like, releasing somebody... I feel like they they plotting right now. They have fighting over money. So I feel like, yeah, they definitely going to be plotting. Well, they are plotting. That's what Spirit is telling you right now. To move in silence. Because what I said, they're getting tarot readings done on you. Unexpected. Prepare for the unexpected financial loss. <laughs> the financial crisis, uh, this financial crisis may be out of your control, but you can still control the outcome. Deal with the things head on and try to prepare for the unexpected before it happens. That's why spirit is telling me, yo, sit down and give this message to somebody. I'm literally about to go to the beach. They're like, yo, sit down and give this message to somebody. Somebody needs to hear this. This is your forewarning that there's something that's going to pop off with your finances. And it's because of this uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius energy. If it's not that, it's um, that you are Aries Leo or Sagittarius. All right, let's get with it. Look at that. Envy. You could be envying other people's financial success, but no, it's not you. It's them envying your financial success. They want a piece of your pie that they didn't even put the work in for. All right, try not to live beyond your means just to keep up with others. Others could be envying your success. Careful who you trust with money matters, okay? Be careful who you trust. All right? Careful who you trust. Look who you on the bottom of the deck. Gift. Someone may give you a gift, lend you money, or help you in some way. You could get a cash bonus at work. You have natural talents, gifts, and abilities just waiting to be discovered. Explore them. Yeah, you are very intuitive. You are. You could be a psychic, and you don't even know yet. All right? You have abundance coming your way. This is your abundance, a gift from the Most High for everything that you have been doing. But these people want to take your gifts. That's how they're getting tarot readings done on you. Uh, they're probably doing spell work. If it's not spell work, like it's just hating and, and, and evil eye is also a form of, of, of spell work. All right. Even if you're just hating hard. Are they doing spell work? And if so, what kind? Yeah, uh, force, psychic, witch's wounds. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, rage, revolution, attention, debate. Like, I feel like that's the energy. Like, there's something going on here. Look, strongholds. I feel like there is something going on where they're trying to have control of your finances. All right? We have power, strength, force. Like, they're trying to force shit. I feel like here you are the psychic. You are the healer. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to control. They're trying to have power, strength over you, force. You have here magical medicine. Rage, evolution, and attention. Stronghold. I'm going to make a deck specifically for the spell work, but yeah. There is something going on here where spirit is trying to give you like a warning that you need to leave this situation. You need to release these people that are not serving you. For your highest good, so let it go. They're gonna block your abundance. All right. So whoever needed to receive this message, 
This was for you. Hope I was able to help. Tap in.